well good morning everyone welcome back to the channel as you can tell it's an early start still pitch black but we start off by getting this week's fat lambs in so we've got josie i don't know how many to see you but yeah we've got eight to go today so get them in get to the abattoir and that is the day start we've got plenty to get on with today don't forget to like subscribe and i hope you enjoy Hi, Joe. Where are they? Can you spot them? They're up there. Yeah, that is the lambs all dropped off. We're on our way home now. Those ones, so there's eight there, are going back to the local butchers. And then all those big loads that we've taken previously they go to an other abattoir that we use that take them so they keep them these ones we basically have back but they go to the local butcher and then we also sell a few live weight in the local auction you ready for action no crash well it's a little bit damp definitely one for the geese there must be a hundred over there I don't know if you can see them over there but Yes, we are on to the end of the first period of tupping, guys. So we have three groups of tup, uh, three groups of tups, three groups of ewes down here, and we're taking the boys out. So 21 days, the tups have been in. They're going out for a week. Then the beef lock tups, aka the Suffolk and the Abba Black, are going in in a week's time, as well as a couple of sweeper tups for the cleans. So the reason we're doing this is because of shed space on the farm, and we know. What are the best performing ewes? The sheds probably hold about 210, 220 ewes max, where we're lambing just under 300. Well, hopefully lambing just under 300, depends on scanning. Irish tub in here, so there's only 11 ewes, because sadly, I don't know if you know, we had a dog attack one of the previous videos, so that ewe was in here, not very nice. Then basically get each bunch in, get the tub out, they're gonna come home. Two options, he's got a little pen to run into, Oh, we've put the trailer open too, so I'm happy with Eva. Here you go, boy. One lot of sheep here, one lot of there, we can make one pen and get them in on their own rather than moving hurdles about too much. It's... He's locked up in his cell, we do not want him escaping again. Second group in, not many blue bums, just two in fact. So, it's done his job. Right, slight apology now because the microphone may have slightly broken. So if you do hear any wind now, my apology. But really good sound with them. We had two blue bums. If you remember last time, they were all tops. It means two of them are probably not taken the first time. Um, good sign. Good girl, good girl. You're smashing it. Let's go. Up down here out just gonna look for you to see if there's any that haven't been touched yet and I think there are a couple that haven't been touched not ideal but that's how life goes and that's three in here that haven't been touched it's not the end of the world because the tops are going back in in a week's time All of 
these use are mixed together. So these are now going to graze as one mob. They're just going to get the three fields that have been in grazed down, and then they're going to go up to the group that we're now going to get the final top from. Round four of the day, let's go. The question is, we're going to fit 73 ewes in eight hurdles. Job done. That is all of the tops now picked up. Quickly have a count of the use and see where we are after one cycle. Of top F3 out of 73 have been tucked, so that means 70 in here have been tucked first cycle. And to be fair, the three that haven't are very small shearlings, so they just might not have come in might not have come into heat yet. And hopefully they do. If not, it doesn't matter because if they don't get in land the second cycle, they'll all go in with the suffer canab of black. It's our way of just improving genetics. We don't want to be breathing sheep that don't get in lamb in two cycles. So now, just before we go, obviously these boys now are a bit fighty. They're having to go at each other because they need to regain that hierarchy so they know which top is top dog or is top is top top. That is because obviously the male animals it's mating season and all these are obviously ready to mate and they have mated so they're all a bit hormonal if you look here they've started headbutting each other and they're not the worst but we like to take care of them so they're going to go into a tight area so they can't back up and smack into each other just like you see there how to go over. right so we move on from doing all the jobs with the tops yesterday to move in the ewe lambs because we're at risk of flooding last week all this land pretty much flooded and me and sky who's behind me has been my work experience helper but doesn't like the camera yet fenced a lot of ground on the other side of the river but this weekend we're through a lot of rain again so we're just gonna get these ewe lambs off for a week they're gonna come back and graze that again so we got josie to help us trailer in the corner field what could go wrong all this fence line here, that river there, came up and pulled it all out. You can see all this debris here. The water went across the whole field, down and went over there. So it's basically a U shape in the river. Cut the U out and half this field was underwater. So we're gonna collect this fence up, move the U lambs. That fence outside is gonna stay because it's not so bad. But the only way we can get lambs over there is uh, through the river over the bridge and we don't wanna get them stuck that side. Josie! Spot the bunny! Josie! So them just dropped off in the field here, so this is one at the top of the farm. They're only going to be in a couple of days, which just because it's fence field, it's easy to chuck them in there. I know the sunshine, but later this afternoon we're meant to have mayhem rain wise. So, as I said before, best being safe and sorry. Plenty of grass in there, probably at least a week's grazing, so no rush. Just considering how wet this was, they grazed this land down really well. So we were very kindly um, let graze this by one of the local um, farmers in the village because he hadn't got any livestock. Good job they've done of this. Come on, come on! <whistles> Quick update on the fat lambs. Now, obviously, at the start of the video, took eight which leaves us with just 35 left obviously these are probably the poorest performing ones but those later lambing ones are actually starting to catch up the little ones so that's a good sign we did get one struck that you can probably see there 
couple of weeks, so that's doing all right. Um, yeah, looking well. There is one there, it's an absolute beast. That's an Abba Black that was laid for. And just look at the ripples on it. Absolute beast of a lamb. But basically, the aim with these now is to get them all gone for Christmas, hopefully. They're on some really nice grass. I've probably got the best of what we got left grass so we can get them gone. They are still all growing well, so just got to leave them and see how they turn out. Thank you.